I want to talk about getting back to solid contact. So I was, uh, I've been working with this guy for about seven or eight months now. He was kind of a beginner. He didn't have a handicap. We've been working together for a little while now. And we, we have these like really long um, weeks or even months of pr productivity of like solid, consistent improvement. And then we'll have uh, just some hang up, like somewhere all of a sudden stuff's not working right. And we have kind of this, this checklist that we go through and this drill that we do to get back to solid contact. And it works every time and it's not maybe what you might think. So I'm just going to get right into it and show you what it is. This drill, if you are struggling, if you can't get, get solid contact, so if you're hitting on the heel or the toe or the bottom of the club or the top of the club or whatever, if you do this drill, you will get solid contact. You just have to take one solid day or one solid hour or range session to just do this drill and you'll get it back. So I've got a nine iron right here. You can do this with a nine or a pitch or an eight iron. It's, um, it's a small version or a smaller version of the go-to drill. Uh, which, which a lot of you guys are familiar with. Um, basically, you're just going to preset your impact position. So you're going to take the club, you're going to set it in the impact position or the impact alignments. The handle's forward to promote forward shaft lean and a forward divot. You're going to do all your things that you do in your swing that feel like impact. So your, your, your weight's going to kind of be shifted into impact, so your foot will kind of be arced up uh, in this way. Your, your pressure will be more on your lead foot. Your hips will be starting to turn. So you're going to go into impact, and then you're going to make a very small backswing and come through in kind of slow motion. So I know that is a ridiculously small swing. And the launch monitor says it went 29 feet. So it didn't even go 10 yards. But I did hit it in the middle. And I can guarantee you, if you're struggling with center contact, you can hit the middle on this small of a swing. So you first do that. And I would say, why not hit 10 of those? Why not take just one session to hit 10 of those really small, get into impact, go back small, go through. This one is 29 feet again. It's... It's uh, not a big shot. If you're hitting it past 10 yards, you're not doing this drill right. Let's do 10 of those, those really small, slow motion. It's almost like a chip shot, you know, a, but a very slow motion chip shot. And then you can go up a little bit. So from after the 10, you can go back into impact, really feel your impact position where you want to be, really tune into that feeling of impact, and then go back just a little bit farther and go through and so now this one went 23 yards and so I've gone from just under 10 yards to just over 20 yards and maybe we can do five or ten of these then when you're really feeling confident and this is again with a nine iron so those those distances reflect this nine iron then when you're really feeling confident you can go a little bit bigger I mean, the, the greatest thing about this drill is that I can control not only solid contact, but my club face. So now this one went 40 yards. So, and if you can tell, if you can notice, they're all going right on the line. So I can control solid contact, but my club face isn't doing a ton of rotation. I'm, I'm not losing control of the club face in this swing either. So it's a, a, an awesome drill. So you do five or 10 of those, and then you can start getting bigger and bigger. And at some point, you can actually swing this way. You can go into your impact position or what feels like a, a really nice solid impact. And then you can make a back swing where you're just turning your body back, turning your body through, and getting that solid contact. So this one now went, it carried 98.5 yards. So I, I know you just saw the length of that swing. That's a very small swing to go 100 yards. I'm getting about 60% of my total distance with about 20% of the effort. So if you do 10 or 15 of those, now you're hitting it solid, consistently solid. You can bump it up and, and get to your 
I would say definitely you don't even have to ever get to your full speed, but get it up to that distance that you like or a comfortable distance. And then if you start miss hitting, just start the drill over at the very beginning and get it solid. This is getting back to solid contact. Your primary concern is hitting this ball solid. So don't be concerned with how far it goes in these little ones. Actually, the shorter you hit it, the better because the more control you're gonna have over impact. So I hope this drill helps. If you're struggling, if you're shanking, if you're topping, if you're hitting it fat, try this drill. I know it, it seems tedious and boring and annoying, but it is the best way to get back to solid contact.